Hello friends, thank you very much for clicking on this video. If you are planning to register and work as a nurse in the UK or a healthcare professional in the UK or any other English speaking environment, then you have come to the right place. In this video, I'll speak about what is OET, who recognizes OET, the formats and timings of OET, uh, the results and the validity of OET test. So first of all, let's talk about what is OET. OET stands for Occupational English Test. It's an international English language test that assesses the language communication skills of uh, healthcare professionals who seek to register and practice in an English speaking environment. It is available for 12 healthcare professions, dentistry, dietetics, medicine, nursing, occupational therapy, optometry, uh, pharmacy, physiotherapy, podiatry, radiography, speech pathology and veterinary science. OET was designed in 1980 by Professor Tim McNamara under the guidance of the uh, Australian National Office for Overseas Skill, which administered the test of that time. Since March 2013, the test is owned by Cambridge Vauxhall Language Assessment Trust, that is uh, CBLA, a venture between a not for profit department of the University of Cambridge. Cambridge Assessment English and Vauxhall Institute, a leading Australian vocational and high education provider. Who recognizes OET? OET is recognized by the regulatory healthcare boards and councils in Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom, Ireland, Dubai, Singapore, Namibia, and Ukraine. Each recognizing organization determines which great results mean the candidates meet the language competency standards to function in the profession. In addition, OET is recognized by the Australian Department of Home Affairs and Immigration New Zealand for all visa categories where an English test may be required. Format and Titans of OET In general, OET comprises of four sub-tests listening, reading, writing and speaking. First, let's talk about uh, listening. Listening test takes approximately 45 minutes. In this test, you are required to demonstrate that you can follow and understand a range of health related spoken materials you know such as uh, patient consultations and lunches uh, there are three parts in listening part one it comprises of you know two times consultation extract about five minutes each and part two comes with six times short workplace extract about one minute each and part three two time presentation extracts about five minutes each Reading. Reading test takes approximately 60 minutes to complete. The topics in reading are of generic healthcare interest and are therefore accessible to candidates across all professions. Candidates are required to demonstrate that you know, they can uh, read and understand different types of text on health related subjects. The reading sub test consists of three parts and a total of 42 question items. Reading part A is expeditious reading task. It takes 15 minutes. In reading part B and C, a careful reading task and takes about 45 minutes. Writing. The writing self-test takes 45 minutes and it's uh, profession specific. There is one task sent for uh, each profession based on a typical workplace situation and the demands of the profession. For instance, a nurse does the task for nursing, like a, a referral letter. A dentist, you know, takes the uh, task for dentistry and so on. Speaking. The speaking subtest is delivered individually and takes around 20 minutes. This part of OET uses material specifically designed for your profession. In each role play, you take your professional role. For example, as a nurse or a, as a pharmacist, while the interlocutor plays, uh, you know, a patient, a client, or a caretaker, like patient's relative. For veterinary science, the interlocutor is the owner, care of the animal. Result of OET. OET is available 14 times per year and can be taken at test venues around the world. Results are published online. Uh, approximately you know uh, 16 working days after the test official statements of results are sent out in the post following the release of online results 
there is no overall grade uh, candidates you know uh, receive uh, separate grades for each test but most recognizing organizations require uh, candidates to have at least a B grade in each of the four sub tests and uh, recognize results as valid for up to two years most uh, recognizing organizations also require uh, the candidates achieve the uh, requisite uh, grades for each subtest in one sitting. However, candidates should check with the organization that regulates the profession to confirm the current requirement. Passing OET is one of the most important steps if you want to practice as a healthcare professional in the, uh, in the English speaking environment. To pass OET, you need a lot of practice of course and preparation by yourself along with the guidance and tips from the experienced people who have been through it. I will very soon post videos about tips to pass for individual part of the test. Uh, so therefore uh, subscribe to remain updated and if you like this video please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on this video.